Texas man suing Walmart is seeking $100 million or unlimited free lifetime shopping. Either he's tripping or he just loves to shop there because that settlement offer should have said $100 million, period. The thought of shopping at a Walmart location for the rest of my life does not sound like a win unless Walmart can give me unlimited free shopping at Target. A Texas man suing Walmart is seeking $100 million in damages or unlimited free lifetime shopping at any location. Roderick Jackson of Wascom, Texas filed two handwritten complaints Monday in U.S. District Court for the Western District of Arkansas. Walmart's headquarters are in Bentonville, Arkansas. The complaints do not go into detail about why Jackson is suing. The complaints allege that an incident occurred in March 2021 at a store in Omaha, Nebraska and involved false pretense of shoplifting and the violation of Jackson's civil rights based on race color. I'm not saying discrimination doesn't take place. I'm not saying discrimination doesn't happen. I'm saying that ultimatum of either $100 million or you let me shop at Walmart for free, it just doesn't sound right. It sounds like he's asking the genie for more wishes. You mean to tell me you would rather risk getting mugged, shanked, or organ harvested in a Walmart parking lot? You would take that over stock options or something? Jackson is also asking that Walmart pay all of his court fees. He filed the complaints without an attorney and could not be reached at a phone number listed for him. A spokesperson for Walmart said Thursday that it does not tolerate discrimination of any kind. Typical cookie cutter statement. Mr. Jackson's allegations are almost identical to a lawsuit he filed against our company in 2021 that was dismissed. Oh, we intend to defend the company against the allegations once we have been properly served and will quickly ask the court to dismiss any claims that are without merit, the company said. Be it that he already tried this same thing in the past unsuccessfully, it doesn't look good for him. But let's be honest, it didn't look good for him when he put on the settlement that he wanted to shop there for free for the rest of his life. After all, that's what stealing is, right? In 2021, Jackson sued Walmart over the same alleged incident, and you're going to turn around and try it again not even five years after? You don't move around and do a Best Buy, a Target, a Macy's or something? He wrote in that complaint that he was racially profiled and falsely accused of a crime, which led to his being arrested. According to the complaint, Jackson suffered emotional stress and pain from handcuffs. The complaint did not name the police department. He initially, this all sounds shady. He initially sought $100 million and a huge credit for future shopping, but later amended the complaint to ask for $170 million in damages. The case was dismissed that year because he failed to properly serve Walmart, court documents say. My estimate, my guess off the top of my head, was Walmart gets sued a few hundred times per year. Walmart gets sued 20 times a day for around 5,000 times per year, and this guy comes walking in with a handwritten note, no lawyer, no proof, and one thing this company does have is a team of sharks for attorneys. This is nothing new to them. People just want free money.